Hey, it's Fossil Guy here. Dirtman here with another special report. Today, we're in the new parish quarry in Bedford County. We're looking for uh, trilobites, brachiopods, all kinds of green fossils, slurry and devonian up in Triglite Quarter here. It's gonna be awesome. And we got right to work. Break the poison ivy vines. <laughs> Too late, you touched it once. Oh yeah. Looks like Jason already found something cool. It's a little pigeon. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Awesome. <laughs> Let's keep digging. Ooh. Check that out. Big one on that side. Little, two little ones on that side. Pretty cool. I'm here with John. He just pulled out both sides of a trilobite tail. Look at that. That's the actual trilobite there, and that's the mold. He just both busted open this limestone, and there's actually a crystal pocket. So not only is there a crystal pocket, there is a trilobite too. The finds kept on coming. Here with Andrew, and he's got a good one. Oh yeah, look at that. Very cool. Great awesome. job, Andrew. Good day. Hey, if you're not bleeding, you're not mining. Did a good one there. <laughs> Here's to you, Herkimer Joe Sukup. Then, the fossil god sent one my way. Wow! Holy crap! Look at that! <laughs> It's not a trilobite, but it is the biggest shell. Oh, wow. Look at them all. <laughs> oh, that's huge. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, it's like wow. everything. It's like every <laughs> penis. <laughs> you see how, oh, cool. how big that one is? Yeah. Let's get that all cleaned yeah, out. I mean, that, look at that detail. That's pretty. <laughs> big tail. Big tail. Giant. All right, I'm here with Nate, and he just busted this rock open. Look at that. He's got both sides as well. Nice big tail. Very cool. Keep on digging. I think we found them all. No. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, a, that's tail. a tail. Yeah, that's oh, a that's tail. Cool. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I moved because I'm sitting, I'm saying I'm sitting on one. That's why I don't find him. And it was. It was right underneath of me. Check out that color. Ooh. That is very pretty. I forget the uh, species or the genus name, but. Look at that. Nice. That's nice a color. perfect shelfer right there. Looks like it's been uh, leached, leached white. Yeah. yeah. Almost like the uh, ferns at St. Clair. Yeah. The PA Rockhounds, also known as the Anti Club Club, all had such a great time that none of us even realized the wall of rain devouring the picturesque countryside and heading our way. I have a special treat here. It's pouring down rain, but this is Marvin Miller. He owns the property adjacent to this quarry, and there's something very special on it. Sinkholes. One of the sinkholes is called sinkhole number four, and they found over 3,000 fossil remains out of that one sinkhole. That's very cool. These pits have mammal bones from going back to the Ice Age, and they're on his property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of them, like, are smaller animals. The, the largest animal found out of that sinkhole was called a long nosed peccary, which is an extinct animal. Wow. They found uh, an extinct eastern elk and it had a full arrowhead wedged in the neck vertebrae at the sixth, seventh vertebrae, but it survived the wound. It was a calf, it survived. Wow. The only that lived about 10 years and then fell into the sinkhole died as a mature bird. Wow. About 810 AD. Wow. Can you imagine that? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, very unique property. Yeah, this is a very important geological site for all mankind. Yeah. Very cool. Yes. Well, it's starting to rain even harder. Yeah. We're going to get inside. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty much everything in this corner is covered with fossils. Bracks, gastropods, trilobites, and everything you can possibly think of. Crinoids, everything are on these rocks. You can pretty much just walk around and throw them in your bucket. I'm here with Bob. He found a really cool fossil that's still alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Check that guy out, nice old corn snake. <laughs> I'm here with Brianna, and she's quite excited. She finally found one, and it's a good one. Look at this. Very cool, huh? My first trilobite. So cool. That is a very good one. Delmantu was a real common trilobite in the Devonian period. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, they got up to a foot in length uh, and had a very distinctive um, thorax and, uh, and cephalon. That's the more common trilobite in here. There's also green ops. 
I'm here with Pam and just looking at some of her finds and what I thought was kind of special is Steve Lindbergh has identified this as a trilobite burrow from when it burrows down into the ground like that. I've never personally seen one. Great find, Pam. Cool. Thank you. I had such a blast today. Yeah, it was a great day. Yeah, it was. It's been a great day. We found some awesome stuff here in Trilobite Corner. I'm Dirtman. I'm the fossil guy. Bringing the geology to you from here in Bedford County. Back to you, Jerry.